Hello there, I'm Gamer Nice Steve, and welcome to Faith. September 21st, 1987. Okay. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. Okay. I have to finish what I started. Do you? What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Then should you be doing it? Faith. game. Okay. I don't know if it. Ah! Da 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 da! Bah! Da! Back! Back demon! Back! Back demon! Ah! I'm gonna assume... Go the direction of the. Oh, we can go that way. Should we be though? Can we? I can't explore that way. Can I go back? Can I leave? Can I leave? I can leave. I don't think I should though. I don't know where the heck I am. Where in the? You travel. Hello, dear. Hello. Demon dear. Demon dear. I'm walking into tree. Uh, yeah, uh, fine. No, okay. Back, back, demon. Ah, back, demon. You're invited! Come celebrate Nate and Jason's 6th birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12pm, 4 to 4pm. Directions, turn right- ha 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 That was a lot. Is Scurry Boy gonna come back? Found a house. Way around. I don't wait. Mm -hmm. It's locked. Well, that's just great. Looks like I gotta go back the way I came. Looks like I gotta go back. Looks like I gotta go home. Oh well. Back, demon. Back. <laughs> Fuck you! Am I looking for a key here? Am I... What am I looking for here? I don't like Terry Ma Terry Mascari. What is this? Whoa! Back off! Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday, they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. I guess this was the dare. I guess this was the dead deer. Hi? The Martin's house lies about 100 yards off Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. Trees jut out in the middle of a gravel path. 
that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off of the right of the path. Father Alred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay, per to the lay person. Alright. Does Demon Borica come back? Is Scurry McFuck's Bucket gonna come back? Uh, you gonna come in? You come in! You suffer! I don't wanna suffer! I'll make you suffer! Now shove this crucifix up your ass! Now just shove it right up the ass! Right up that ass! Excuse me? Hello? Purple guy? Is there a purple guy around here somewhere? Hello? Oh, yep, 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 yep. I should go to the note. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs. got suddenly extremely quiet and I don't like that. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Hello? We just... No music? At all? Is there a way to like... Some more than just like... Pop a crucifix around? Is there like... Oh, is there a way to like look at paintings or something? Is there a, like an interact button? Uh, okay, there we go. Alright. Alrighty then. Uh, who's... Who's behind me? Begone! Back, demon! Something's following behind me. Unless that's in the mirror. Can the four-legged lack of sunlight get to me in here? Drive out the demons. Oh. Well, that's fun. That's great. Can I exercise this food? Like one French fry and a splot of ketchup. Can I go out the back door? Can I leave? Can I just not be? This game's having some visual glitches. I don't. I don't want to go downstairs yet. I don't want. I don't want to go that way yet. Do I? I can't. Mm. Hello? Hello? Something gonna kill me? Hello? I don't have good experiences with basements. At the crib? Okay, that's dripping water that terrified the Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked what's the weirdest thing I've seen on a missionary. <clears throat> the area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San de Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday, we talked to a boy about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to San de Muerte. 
He told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house. And according to him, they prayed to some figures of San Lemuerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him that he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We incited, we invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Leighton. Okay. Okay. Working missionary. That's, that's, a, that's fun. Okay. I hate that. I hate, is one of you guys gonna pop out after me? One of you guys gonna... I don't want to be amongst them. I, I'm, I'm just going to stay as far away as I can. Oh! Oh! Ah! What happened? Oh, hello! Hello there! Hi! She is here. Who is she? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back, looking straight at me like when we first, when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Raise the crucifix! Raise it up! Keep it up! Never let it down! Why would you ever put it away in this situation? Is that a duck? A crucifix. No! I'm too late. Too late for what? What am I too late for? Can I crucify. Can I crucify the duck? Can I please? Oh, I can! Oh! I don't feel safe in my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival funhouse. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her, and I just don't know why. Right? I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day, and now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank goodness Bob comes home tomorrow. Can I crucify the toilet? No! Your eyes? I am too late. Too late for what? You're too weak. For what? What am I too late for? Where am I going? What am I supposed to be doing? Am I going to the attic? Am I supposed to be going downstairs? Where am I going? What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know. <laughs> Go away! Oh, okay, I'm just supposed to, like... Okay, I guess I was doing the right thing. I was just trying to defend myself. I didn't know I was making progress. <laughs> there a door? Oh, there is a door! Oh, there's a door stairs! Oh! Oh. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you of their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. When they, what they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She blank my superior father with... When I confronted her, she managed to cut the power to the house and her own parents with her own... I have to go back to that house. The, nightmare I'm having, the nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there, waiting for me. I can help, still help her. If I don't come back, know that I love you and I'm sorry. 
John. Go away, Smiley. I don't like you. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Well, that's fun. My God, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Die, demon! Oh! Um, I guess I avoid them. Mortis. Mortis. Fun. My god, what happened to you? Do you think my face is pretty? I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Sutha demon. Die. Go away. Don't come near me! Don't come near me! Ah! Oh! Oh, is your face gone? Oh! More this. More this. Do I avoid her? This is gonna start me all the way back at the beginning. No face! Eat the fury of my cross. Oh! Oh! Okay then. She got hand now. She tricked me. Mortis. She normally only does three. She did four. I get it. You got the face now. Wimp. Screw you. Mortis. Every single time you pull out a new weapon. Stop it. Just be predictable. Alright then, finally! She went right out the window. Kill her, I don't... Do I want to? A uh, god with one bullet. A god with one bullet. Really? 
Do I have to go outside? I, what if... What if I meet Spider-Boy? I don't want... Like, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shoot him. Oh, shit. Oh, wonderful. Well, I guess I'm going home! Or can I get another gun? I go back inside and get another gun. Is that... that okay, that's doable. Okay. Pull it. Okay. We back. We back, baby. We locked and loaded. What if I could shoot the deer? I don't know where I go. Oh, hello. That means I shoot you. to my car I don't know but I that person is that a person I don't know did I just shoot someone did I I might have I might have just killed a random dude Ips. Car. I'm just gonna go back to my car now I will say of the war, he is my refuge, and my fortress. My cock, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of Father and son. Ending 2 of 5. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside of him fights back with increasing ferocity. We must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There is another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let him see... Let them see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body, so that there may be no mistaking what I mean. I have enclosed a photograph of young Michael during one of our sessions. The photograph is missing. Oh, we back. Okay. With one bullet. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna not shoot the random dude. I'm just gonna not shoot the random dude. That seems like a good idea. I'm gonna check inside the shed. Maybe Amy would be inside the shed. Hi. Don't mind me. Oh, okay. I can't go in there. Okay. okay. Ne never mind you. You you go you go ahead with your day. It's good, sir. Maybe this way. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Is that gonna be some? I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My cock in him I will trust. Okay. I shall not be afraid of the terror. <laughs> Watch where you're going when you're driving. Oh. 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 Shit. <laughs> the hunter. 
Unidentified body discovered near a wrecked car. The site of the deadly car accident was discovered along a road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who has not yet been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident collapsed... Uh, called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Hill Road. The river of a silver sedan, the driver of a silver sedan, was swerved off the road and struck a tree. The spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged several yards away from the car, deeper into the woods, after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of a clean and white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears the victim of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds back to the car. A dog with one bullet. With one bullet. There was something I saw in here. The demon mirror. What happens if I shoot that? Okay. Did that do anything? Hello? I mean, the demon's no longer in there, but... Hello? Nothing? Nothing? No, actually, it doesn't say. It doesn't say kill her. It says... Re lech. A dog with one bullet. I don't know. I guess shooting the mirror did nothing. I don't know if it does. I don't know if it's supposed to do something. Does this lead to something? Oh. Hello, Amy. It is done. Ah, I just completely skipped by her. <laughs> Murderer! Didn't even get to recite his thing. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A New York man in his is in custody after he confessed to the murder of a sterling girl who had been missing. John Ward of Palama was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. When questioned, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly that there was a demon inside her. Ward was taken to Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now-abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving a gunshot wound in the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second-story window of, a, of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. It was suspected he was impersonated. He impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward had not been an ordained minister. The rest of the article is missing. Way back. Way back. What's this way? I think, is that... Because that's the deer... Korok here? Hello? Could be something there. Okay, now I get the gun again. Okay. And now I search the stone, that stone circle, whatever that is. Um, I guess I've shot an already dead squirrel. Alright. I have no clue what that was about. I guess we'll see.
Oh. Oh. Oh, we got we got cultists. Oh. Oh, hi. Can I help you? The offering. What was I offered to or did Did I become the new offering because I wrecked their old offering? What? Okay. Hello, Amy. I am sorry to hear about your parents' decision. It is hard for people to trust what they do not understand. I know you are only 17, but you are clearly an adult and you are capable to handle you're able to handle your own life. Do not let your mom and dad stop you from following your dreams. If there is anything I can do to help you, just let me know. We are having a get-together at the clinic yes, Saturday night, and I would love for you to stop by. We still consider you a part of the team, even if your mom and dad do not. We hope to see you there, Gary. Hmm. With one what if I don't shoot anyone? Can I find can I find Spider Guy? Cause there's only one other ending. Can I find Scurry Dude? Uh, can I find him? Just straight back to the car. Ha! Oh! <laughs> I will say of the Lord, he okay. is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night, nor the evil that walketh in darkness, because I have made the Lord my refuge. Because I have set my love upon him, therefore will he deliver me. I shall call upon him and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and honor me. I can't explain what happened at that house. I can only have faith that I did the right thing. Ending five of five. Good ending? When faith endures? Good ending? Question mark? Maybe? Animal experts investigate chupacabra remains found near Sterling. Sterling PD is enlisting the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. The remains of an animal, which some residents are calling a chupacabra, were discovered on Snake Meadow Hill Road by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist who discovered the remains had told them they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure what about what exactly we're dealing with here, said of Sterling Police Spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If there's a mountain lion or exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with rabies, we need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation would not speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from the rickets, a vitamin D deficiency that appeared in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Okay, that's all five endings, I guess. That was faith. That was terrifying. <laughs> very, very well made. Very good game. Uh, I plan on playing Faith Chapter 2 very, very soon. Expect that very soon on the channel. Maybe, maybe not next episode. Maybe next episode. Maybe next episode. Maybe not next episode. I'm not sure. But thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. Let me, what you, let me, know, mm, let me know what you thought. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!